Tar Keller from the German Greens, Philipp Lamberts from the Belgian Greens. You are the new duo at the presidency of the Greens EFA group in the European Parliament. So what are your plans for the upcoming two years? Um, what are the biggest challenges for you? Well, I think we're right in the middle of a huge challenge inside the European Union. The EU is under attack from the far right, from right-wing populists who are increasing all over the continent. And that uh, is a very important challenge and it puts us right into the spot of where we need to do things. We Greens are the antidote to the far right because we're promoting, for example, gender equality. We're promoting the rights of people. We're also promoting the right of people to ask for asylum. And we're also uh, here to fight for the European idea, the idea of cooperation overcoming borders. And we're also here to improve the European Union that we have because of, a lot, of course, with a lot of decisions from the Commission, from the Council, from the Grant Coalition, we're not uh, happy at all. So I think we're in the right spot to fight uh, for what we believe is true and correct. Yeah, well, uh, as Kat said it very, very rightly, I, I think an, an increasing number of our citizens uh, don't trust the traditional political parties any longer because they're fed up of these uh, neoliberal kind of uh, recipes that are, that are applied across Europe. I mean, what happened in Austria with the election of van der Bellen is typically what we should be able to replicate all over the place. I mean, that if people reject the traditional parties, which they did in Austria, well, the choice was between national populism and the green alternative. Now, I'd love us to be at the same level across Europe. Can you be a bit more concrete? What would be um, projects you want to fight for? If there's one project that we are really pushing, it's making a uh, reality of a social and fiscal Europe. This is where we need to put uh, the brunt of our, of our efforts. And then if you really want to kickstart the European economy and give us again the means of our independence, it's the energy union, stupid. That's where it plays. I mean, we really want to become independent from the Putins and, and the kings of uh, Saudi Arabia, etc. The only way is to achieve energy independence is by going full steam, well, if I may say so, renewables and energy efficiency. That's, that is what could kickstart Europe's economy again. The Greens EFA group is a quite small group in the European Parliament. So do you still have possibilities to really influence the decisions that are taken here in Brussels? Even though we're a pretty small group in the European Parliament, we can actually influence a lot of things because here you're not lost just because you're in the opposition. You can really introduce your own green policies into the European policy, but we can also, and I think we need to do that more, do the outreach, go outside the European Parliament, talk to people directly, spread the word about what we're trying to do um, with the European Union and inside the European Union. And we should never forget that the ecological question is also a social question. It very much interlinks um, the energy question, the can I afford healthy food question, yeah. all of those things. So we, and we of course with the climate change, we have the battle ahead to save our planet. So this is a big task for us, uh, but we're ready to fight for it. Hmm. So right now, you already said it, there's not so much enthusiasm about Europe right now. So for you personally, what is it that you still fight for this Europe? Why are you still engaged in, the, in politics and also um, with the Greens? Well, actually, uh, uh, this is my first uh, full-time electoral position. I mean, and I chose for Europe as the place to be. I worked in a multinational for 22 years and there I could feel the forces that were pushing for the exploitation of the planet and of the people. If you want to fight these forces, you need leverage, you need critical mass. And, and this is what Europe should be about. And your motivations, Karl? Well, I grew up at the German-Polish border, which was a very close border for a long, long time. And there I could really see what the European Union means. It means overcoming borders. It means people you know, coming together and actually building a now a common city because the city was divided by a, by a border. So for me, that is really the essence of the European Union, overcoming borders, overcoming nationalism and through cooperation, work all together for a better future. And that's what we're fighting for. Thank you very much.